there's a new restaurant that opened up about two weeks ago. There's the vacant storefront of Model Sporting Goods. Even though they declared bankruptcy a while ago and closed the store. This is really cool. Candy canes for a doorknob at Bad Habits. What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Monday, December 20th, 2021. And I'll be walking through my home neighborhood of Astoria, Queens during the last week before Christmas. So it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and it's 36 Fahrenheit, two degrees Celsius. So pretty chilly. And I'm in front of the Astoria Christmas tree in Athens Square Park. I did a live stream a few weeks ago where I came here and I saw the tree lighting. It was a very fun live stream. Although the lighting of the tree was not perfect and it's still not perfect. Some parts of the tree are uh, malfunctioning. They can't get the lights to work, but it's a very gorgeous tree. Athens Square Park named after the Greek goddess Athena. Here's the statue of Athena, and it's a gift from the city of Athens to the people of Astoria. This neighborhood is home to the largest amount of Greek um, immigrants outside of Greece. But where I'll be walking to today is on 30th Avenue to Steinway Street and then I'm going to walk on Broadway. We'll see many of these uh, storefronts all decorated for the holidays and it should be pretty fun. I'll also update you on a few things that have changed in the neighborhood. See here, here's a barber shop and a spa. Touch of beauty. Nice little decorations in the window. Little tiny tree. And the real estate office. And all along 30th Avenue, they'll have these uh, festive decorations all above the street. This is a Colombian bakery, Parceros Bakery number no. two. They decorated their window with a candy cane and some, um, some stickers there. The 30th Avenue subway station on 31st Street. Needless to say, it can get pretty loud under here. And it seems like I only have a few seconds to cross. Coming up is Athena's Nails. It's a popular nail salon in the neighborhood. They've got a really nice Christmas display in their window. It's definitely unique. It looks like it's made out of yarn.
So over here on the corner of 32nd Street and 30th Avenue, there's a new restaurant that opened up about two weeks ago, a Tex-Mex restaurant called Colexico. And there is a, uh, a town, or it might be a city called Colexico on the Mexican and United States border. And I think um, the owners who opened this place are from there. It's been a long time to get this restaurant set up, but I'm glad that they are open now. A long time ago in the 90s, this used to be a restaurant called Athens Cafe, and it was here for a long time. And then it went through a series of um, different storefronts over the years. I think the most recent one before this was called Salt and Bone. The Astoria Produce Markets are across the street. Both Alinky, Agora, and United Brothers Fruit Markets. Very good places to shop. And we have Key Food Supermarket with an inflatable Santa, and they're also selling Christmas trees all along the side. Christmas trees are quite pricey this year. If you get a decently sized one, it can cost hundreds of dollars. Looks like they're doing something to uh, repair the street now. Utility work and it's being patched up now. I want to cross the street and check out that Italian bakery there, Il Fornaio Bakery Due. There's another Il Fornaio uh, one block from where I started this video, behind um, where I started on 29th Street. But this is their second location. I think I can cross now. All baking done on the premises. I love what they did with their window display. Very festive. There's a doll here. And also great advertising for their cookies. I won't be traveling on the residential blocks in this video, but I did a pretty... Hi, what's up? You remember me? Yes. We met at the park? Yeah. How are you doing? That's You're right. right now? Yeah. I see you again, buddy. See you, man. That was a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> So um, what I was saying is I won't be going on the residential blocks in this video, but I did a pretty comprehensive live stream and I spent three hours on my scooter showing all the, uh, the large decorations in Astoria.
Hi, what's nice up? To nice to see you too. Kiki's nails has some snowflakes in their window. I find it interesting how many people call me Action Man. There's the Astoria Fish Market. They've got some decorations on the ceiling draped throughout the store. And if you want some inexpensive decorations, this uh, bargain store has what you need. And Lee Lies Bakery with a custom window very beautiful custom window from Lee Lives Bakery, also a great bakery in the neighborhood. It's a good day for cocoa, cookies, pastries, bread, and pies. And probably the oldest business on this entire avenue, Rudy's Hobby Supplies. I actually can't believe uh, Rudy is still here. He's been here for as long as I remember. Mestiza Laser Spa with a nice window. I think we're seeing a theme here. All the nail salons and spas, they have great Christmas decorations. This one should look, work a little bit better, less glare. And we have a new location for Mad for Chicken, the famous Korean barbecue uh, chicken spot. I think their first location and the uh, original one is in Flushing, Queens yeah, on Northern Boulevard. And they've expanded to uh, Forest Hills. And I think there's another location um, somewhere else too. But. I'm glad that Mad for Chicken is here in Astoria. I love their window. Here's the Grand Avenue International Meat Market. So as you can see, there's a lot that's changed in the neighborhood. And tea swell crepe with a gorgeous Christmas village in the window. This place, even though it's a crepe store, does not mean it's dessert because they have sweet crepes, they have savory crepes, and they also have crepes where you eat them and it really is a meal because they use like so many layers of meat and vegetables definitely worth checking out in Astoria and here there's Crave It the pizza and sandwich joint 
They have a South Park theme um, display in the window. There's the Grand Restaurant across the street. Also the largest restaurant on the block there. But they've got nice decorations inside as well as Christmas wreaths on the windows. The Butcher Bar with a very nice Christmas wreath at the top. This Agora food market opened earlier this year, and I think they're doing pretty well right now. It's basically a Greek grocery store. In addition, in addition to that one, there's a few other ones that I know of. Most of them are located on 31st Street. Here's Paris Oven, a French coffee shop. And the Wolfhound. I like they put the Christmas tree right in the window so you can see. All right, here's Steinway Street. Steinway Street in the 90s traditionally played Christmas music from the speakers here, but they haven't done that for a while. And I think I'll uh, cross the street to give you a better view because there's too much sun coming this way. From my experience, Steinway Street really is a uh, ever-changing street. New businesses close and open all the time, and it's really difficult for uh, people to uh, maintain their businesses here. Rents are high, and uh, Steinway Street doesn't really get the foot traffic as it once did. But even still, we can see some really nice stores here. Here we have Rizzo's Pizza since 1959. One of the best pizzerias in the neighborhood. And here's a grand opening for Astoria New York Furniture Shop. The furniture actually looks really nice in there. And they love them on Yelp. 2020 award.
So you can see here on Steinway Street, they've decorated the lampposts and also the uh, top of the street there. They light up at night. Foot locker. Edible arrangements, I think should be uh, pretty popular during this time. Lots of holiday gifts being given and sweets are definitely a popular gift. Steinway Street is really known for many of these discount clothing stores. I see these place, places open up and close all the time. It's a lot of signs that say uh, a certain percentage off or closing out inventory or going out of business sale, which is really startling to see all the time. Here's Natura Spa. I really love their exterior with the flowers. This one didn't really seem like they have Christmas decorations, but the flowers are nice outside. There's the vacant storefront of Model Sporting Goods. Even though they declared bankruptcy a while ago and closed the store, the storefront is still there. Here's the Egypt restaurant. Right now, it looks like they're doing some renovations to it. The exterior does need some work. It's a hookah restaurant. CVS Pharmacy. We got a nice Christmas tree in the uh, right in the entrance there. Also, selling Christmas trees on the side of the pharmacy itself. This street is 31st Avenue. I have one more block to go until Broadway. The 
another jewelry store. City MD. And Cafe de Colombia number two with amazing decorations on the exterior. Oh wait, Bath and Body Works. I just saw a rotating Christmas tree in the entrance with the snowman. That's nice. Also smells really good through the door, even though it's closed. The Easy Pickens uh, discount clothing store. Very nice display. Here's a COVID testing van with a very long line. City MD, I was surprised not to see a long line, but then I saw the sign on the door. It said, due to maximum capacity, we've paused COVID tests. So because of that, people are coming over here. It's really shocking what kind of a world we live in now. Right. Here's a Steinway Pizza. Also a great pizzeria um, in Astoria. Different varieties of slices. Here's another COVID-19 testing van. It's really remarkable how just a few weeks ago, these vans, they barely had any lines at all. And now all of a sudden, everyone wants to get tested. Chipotle here. This Chipotle restaurant is fairly new. I wonder how long these people are going to have to wait to get their results. <laughs> Here's a Gramercy Cafe with a beautiful window display. And now I'm going south on Broadway. Actually, no, it's not south. This direction is uh, west. So across the street we have Cronin and Felon, great Irish pub, and Slice, which started in Long Island City, and they have the LIC and their name capitalized. 
I tried the Long Island City location and it was great. Cafe de Oya. This on the corner used to be a pizzeria. I think it was Boston Pizzeria and now they're turning it into uh, condos. There's also another area that's slated for development. It's the corner where Saks Place used to be. It was a very well-known Italian pizzeria, but that moved into where Kaufman Astoria Studios is now. And there's about, uh, I think, four um, businesses in a row next to each other that are gonna be knocked down and condos are gonna be built on top of the vacant lot there as well. This is madness right now. There's a beverage truck double parked here and then you got UPS on the other side. No wonder why there's a lot of traffic here. People gotta do the zigzag. Buy sushi. I love the um, the outside that they decorated. I didn't know what to call that entrance. I know there's a name for it, but couldn't really think of it on the spot. These pigeons have been flying over my head recently. So there across the street is the storefront of Broadway Vacuum. I'm not really sure what's going on there. There's a lot of brown paper in the window. But Broadway Vacuum's been there for years. I wonder if a new business is gonna open up there or they're renovating. We have the discount retailer D2 here. I love the displays that they have in the window. Several animatronics and different size Christmas trees. Given the price of real Christmas trees this year, I think a lot of people opted for an artificial one. It's also better for the environment as well. It doesn't require as much work to uh, cut down the tree, transport it, water it, and do all the logistics. Whereas the plastic tree, you can just put up every year and reuse it over and over. Here's the Broadway Silk Store. 
story of Meat Products Inc. I like these inflatable pieces right on the side of this building. Bartolino's Italian restaurant. Over here is uh, Michael's Restaurant, and this is Emilio's uh, Tavern, really great Greek restaurant in the neighborhood. Although not too many decorations on Emilio's, but Michael's got some nice strings of lights from the uh, canopy here. Eat Si Thai, all you can eat Korean barbecue and hot pot. $40 a person, $20 for children. And there's a one and a half hour time limit. Croatian and Serbian restaurant, Silo restaurant. Here's something new coming to the neighborhood. This I was not aware of. Burger bar slider. toast and roast bagels and coffee. This is really cool. Candy canes for a doorknob at Bad Habits. And Gilby's um, pub nice Christmas wreath in the window. I think I'll cross over this way. 
because there's a few stores over there that I want to show you. Broadway Court Grocery. Nice display there. Pipari Hero. Or Euro, I think it's called. Bahari Greek restaurants. And Champion Pizza. With some very nice window displays as well. And McLaughlin's Pub. They also decorated the inside with lights. And here is the Broadway train station where I'll be ending my video because I want to take the train into Manhattan. But if you enjoyed this video, then smash the like button for me. Subscribe for some more videos like these. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Take care.